Hey, what's up? Wix here again, episode 24, wiring part 3, installing CAN Lambda. Let's go. Hey, what's up? Wix here again, carrying on with this STI build. Welcome to part three of wiring. How to install Cam Lambda. So I've just finished recording episode two, so I thought I might as well carry on. Um, I've got a few hours left of me. It's past midnight at the moment. Um, but installing Cam Lambda, I've never installed this before, um, but I've taken a quick look at it and it doesn't actually seem that hard. It, the kit is a pretty cool kit. It comes with everything most of it's plug and play i did however have to buy an extra cable one that made it easier and two i can't run it without this extra cable anyway but we'll take it a look we'll take a look at it um, and see what's inside this kit all right link cam lambda so you can kind of see on the box there comes with all that stuff but let's take a look. See you later. Okay, so first of all, we've got the actual module. With, I'm guessing this is the plug that'll go to the O2 sensor and one that goes back to the ECU. I'm not too sure where I'm going to stick this. We'll have a look at that when we get to it to the side so it comes with your main harness with a I'm pretty sure these are is a Bosch O2 sensor oh yep it is it's got the Bosch labeling on it um, but it comes with the cable that'll plug directly up to that plug, plug, plug we just looked at so that's cool I've got the hole ready to go on my exhaust uh, so if you remember, if you watch my exhaust um, episode, I've got two holes, two bungs in it at the moment. Uh, one's so we can put this in, can stay in there permanently. If the tuner ever needs to stick something in himself, um, he doesn't have to remove this. He can just use the second bung that I've got. Uh, anyway, that's that. Um, it comes with a bung and plug so that's handy so I, I don't need that but I will need that so that's cool um, so there's that part um, and the only thing left is um, the plugs and pins if we were going to wire it separately but we're not going to use those because if you on my ECU um, actually we might go take a quick look at it okay so on my ECU so this is still the plug-in um, I've got a couple of white plugs here now this one is CAN 1 and that one's CAN 2 so for me to hook up CAM Lambda I'm gonna have to hook it up to one of these um, I'm gonna go with CAN 1 but you can see I need this other white plug which that kit didn't come with the only wires that are going to run into this plug is there's four pins on the um, on the plug that we need to run. Actually, we're going to have a look, but remember this white plug? We're only going to use two pins out of this. So there's only four pins. Now, it's pretty easy. One of them is ground. One of them is a, ooh, I'm pretty sure it's a 14 volt 
or 12 volt supply, <clears throat> not five volt this time. So we need a 12 volt. And the other two is what they call a can low or can L and a can high signal. So can L and can H. Now it's only those two that are gonna go to that white plug that's in the ECU. So obviously they didn't put a white plug in here and that's what I got confused about. But the extra cable that I bought is this one here. Blah, 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 blah. But if we pull that one out. Seal it. So you can see it already comes with the plug attached, which means we don't have to do anything with this one. It's all in here. It also comes with the white plug that plugs into the ECU. It's got two wires on it. Those are the can low and can high. And then it also comes with <clears throat> the other two wires that I need to find power and a ground for. So the only wiring that I need to do are these two here, which is pretty basic. Just need to find the ignition wire that supplies the 12 volt, 14 volt, and hook it up to the ground, whether it's its own ground or I can link it into another ground to the body of the car. So this is not a sensor ground, which goes to the ECU. This is just your normal average ground that grounds back to the body of the car. That's pretty much it. So let's just make sure if I undo this, I'm going to have to cut it off. Okay, so here's that other loom that I bought. That plugs in. And the loom with the O2 sensor. Which way do you go? That way. That plugs in. So literally, all I have to do, put that in the exhaust. Put the O2 sensor in the exhaust. Mount that somewhere and make sure that all this can reach. Uh, I've got a funny feeling I might not be able to reach down to my ECU. I think that's a bit short. There is another loom you can buy that's pretty much just an extension of this part here. Um, I was hoping not to buy it, but just looking at it now, I might have to, but uh, we won't know till we um, try and stick this in the car and see how long, how long a loom we've got to play with. Okay, so probably the first mission I'll do <clears throat> is you can see those two bulges there. So those are the two bungs that I've got. So I probably need to cut real carefully around there. And that one, I'll put my O2 sensor in one, bung in the other, and then see how far where I'm going to mount the, uh, the little unit itself. So uh, let's go and do that. Okay, so I've got my bung in, got my O2 sensor in. I've given that a bit of a tweak up with the 22mm spanner, that's nice and tight. Same with this one, this one's a 10mm Allen key, so those are nice and snug. Probably need to spend some time on just maybe cleaning all that exhaust wrap up if I can, but otherwise those are good to go. So with running the loom across, I found another hole in the firewall that I can use so I'll probably just keep it like that for now and I've put the plug on the inside I still need to get another rubber boot or grommet for that um, but I've pretty much hooked it all up already so 
I've decided to mount the unit up here just above the e-throttle module um, so that's the one coming from the O2 sensor it's got a bit of play there and then I've linked the other cable into there um, I'll sort it out later when I go put the ECU back into place but that plugs into there into CAN 1 and then I've already spliced the positive and the ground into there so that's all finished and ready to go and uh, for once especially with the aid of this loom here it was that simple so CAN Lambda all installed I just need to find out if I need to do anything on the ECU before I start the car um, I'm unsure so I will phone a friend in the morning and find out that um, whether I need to calibrate it or anything like that or if it's just uh, something the tuner will sort out uh, we'll find out I'll find out in the morning yeah but happy with that happy where it is happy the um, it all plugs up to the ECU as promised and um, yeah uh, not that I expected anything much more than that but happy with that 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 went um, as part of the plan as well so oh winning winning so far okay so I might call it a night um, it's nearly 2 a.m. in the morning um, but I shall phone a friend in the morning and find out if I need to do anything on the ECU for that whether I need to calibrate it or, or something like that um, so yeah when I find that out I will end this episode Oh, getting closer. Okay, new day. Sun's out. It's pretty good. It's been raining for the past week. Um, so I phoned a friend this morning. There are some stuff you have to do on the laptop to um, to calibrate the CAN Lambda or the O2 sensor. But um, I've been told it's probably best if he does it when he gets here. Um, I'm going to get him here when we start the car because um, I'm a little bit nervous and excited at the same time so when he gets here he'll do all that then it's probably easier if he does it rather than explain to me how how to do it so that means I have finished this episode um, you've pretty much seen how easy it is really to install CAN Lambda um, there's lots of videos out there about the advantages of having it uh, I'm still yet to learn I just know it's a really good thing to have on the car um, so I've got it and it's in there so um, next episode will be part four part four I've already kind of started it I'll show you in part four I'm going to install the oil pressure sensor and the fuel pressure sensor so this is where I've decided to put my oil sensor now this is a Bosch sensor it's the twin sensor that does pressure and temp and I've got a fuel pressure to chuck in as well um yeah so i might cover that in the next in the next video so um that's it for this episode um remember like subscribe comment uh if you've got something to say something to ask please comment and uh other other than that we'll catch you in the next video ciao